My name is Jocelyn Brown Hall. I am the Deputy Regional Representative for FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Bureau in Africa, and I'm also the officer in charge for the Ghana Country Office uh, here in Accra, Ghana. Well, this is a very exciting program that combines uh, addressing four specific issues. One issue is around climate change. Another issue is around innovation and processing of food, especially for the third issue of women who are deeply involved in agriculture and women, the fourth issue, who live in the rural areas. Absolutely, women are the, uh, the underpinning, the force behind agriculture, um, both productivity and processing here in Ghana. Um, as we know, over 60%, even 70% of women in Ghana are, are, do the agricultural work. And we want to make sure that when they do the work, they get fair pay for what they're doing and that they can see value from what they're doing. So we want to create uh, processing and packaging opportunities for them to help them gain more value out of the agricultural productivity, but we also want to make sure that the processing and the packaging technologies do not hurt the climate. Because as we all know, climate change is here, weather conditions are changing, and that's changing how we do agriculture and how we make agriculture productivity sustainable for future generations. We have, uh, we have presenters and innovators here from all parts of not only Ghana and the, not only the research community, but actual entrepreneurs and throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. We just heard a, a female entrepreneur who's working in the rural areas on turning coconut husks into soils that, can, um, that are just as productive as regular soil. And we'll hear from other women entrepreneurs about processing of cassava, about processing of cocoa pods, and other fruits and vegetables so that they can gain value from what they're doing in agriculture and also preserve the environment and bring economic development to rural communities. Well, I'm just excited to be here and I'm excited that uh, the government of Ghana has taken this incredibly uh, forward-looking idea. Uh, I'm proud to be part of it with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. I give great credit to the Council on Scientific and Industrial Research Centers and also to the, all the entrepreneurs and researchers here who are working together to support uh, women entrepreneurs and food processing and packaging to reduce food loss and waste, and to stem climate change. So it's an exciting event. Thank you. And the session is on climate, smart food processing, and storage technologies. And we have two chairs for this session. And the nice thing about this session is that we have two women carrying this session. So finally, the, the, the whole thing is women sent ten now. And we have... The woman moderator. Yes, and the woman moderator. Aren't we lucky? So this session, we will be looking at climate smart food processing and storage technologies, as I said earlier. Our chairs are Professor Mary Obodai, the Director of CSIR Food Research, and Dr. Sharon Afifa, Department of Food Processing Engineering Science, University of Dharma. These two are great women in their own standing, and I will talk my so I'll hand over to you. Prof, chair the session. Prof, the audience, audience the chair. Thank you, Dr. Nam. And by she rightly said, you're behind bars. Thank you. That's good, Mr. Chairman. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm going to turn to, the, to, uh, to talk about dissemination of an optimized business structure for cassava team. It's not directly climate change, but 
my need. The, the, the outcome of presentation rapidly, we, 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 go, we, we have to start from the importance and limits of cassava in West Africa and West and Central Africa, and, uh, and from, from, from the limits of uh, uh, observed, we have to bring out the uh, initiative, peasant initiative, uh, 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 who, who try to overcome this limit by using seeds to improve their, uh, their production system the, uh, and how the search are, are trying to get, to get it to, uh, to help them. And we, are, uh, we, are, we are come up with uh, an optimization of what they are doing and we try to, uh, to restitute to them. And, and, and the, the, the topic is on, on the starter. And now, really, the importance of cassava is known in the region. Now that I, 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 I don't have to, uh, to develop, develop it, but but the, the limit is uh, how many that uh, we have uh, ten nutrition uh, limit, many due to say uh, toxicity and uh, intelligent uh, limit due to shed uh, uh, life. And, and particularly in, uh, uh, in all Korea, uh, 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 I, I try to overcome this by development of different products uh, using different uh, technologies, uh, in, uh, uh, mainly in response to uh, market demand uh, concerning uh, cassava products. And, and I'm saying that, so I'm saying that. Based on the limits, uh, geological and limit uh, and nutritional limits, many foods have been developed but at, 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 at a basal level uh, using different technologies. And many of these foods are, the demand of market is high. In the, in the practice, in the, in the, in the, in the practice, rating, rating is uh, almost the central unit of cooperation in cassava, in, in many cassava. Uh, for uh, processing the uh, technologies. And, and the fact is that the limit, the, the technology limit can be this ready is that the term is long. It takes three to five days depending on the cassava variety and uh, 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 so, so on. And this ready is just fermentation of cassava. But the fact is that, uh, uh, and the, the interest of the, the different uh, the rating, uh, uh, is that. Uh, 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 intermediate the softening of the roots, uh, uh, allowing facilitating the, uh, the subsequent uh, manipulation uh, for, 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 for processing. Yeah, uh, 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 sandwiches, uh, 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 compound, and developing for uh, flavor component and the other nutrition component. But the fact is that it's long, and due to the fact that rating is long, usually then based on the uh, uh, on the market demand of products. Processor try usually never in Ghana you have it. A processor try to use differences to reduce the the waiting time. It reduces the waiting time. That is the main problem. So we are, we are what 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 we have done uh, uh, the research we try to we try to see to analyze the things that uh, uh, they use and, and uh, uh, we are oh. For instance, they use or previous red team, they use various plants, they use. Uh, but, but one of the things they use is uh, uh, flower, pre retro cassava flower, which is just for food. They use it as a starter to, 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 uh, to increase, uh, to, to, uh, to reduce the spike in red team. Sometimes it works. Many times it doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Uh, that way we, uh, 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 we were interested by that, by discussing with them, we then try to, to bring out uh, 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 because fufu is just a concentration of uh, fermentation strength, uh, 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 macrobat uh, strength of, of, uh, for fermentation. So we will try to find out, to, to, to observe what they, uh, 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 what they do, we just bring hypothesis, hypothesis on and why uh, uh, it does not work every time. The hypothesis was simple, it was certain due to, to the way they prepare the pre cassava flour uh, and, to the, uh, uh, and to the way they use it. We bring out that we set up this hypothesis and. Uh, okay. 
and, uh, and just to try at that level to optimize it. We will be left at the level uh, uh, rating cassava duly four days in our conditions. What's the way? Our conditions can allow uh, 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 the, highest, the highest concentration of strength and, and some dry. But we try to optimize it in prison conditions. Well, uh, 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 do we But in prison conditions, four days of operating, two days of sun drying, the condition, and storage in, in, in dry environment. We, uh, uh, in this case, we obtain, we, are, we can obtain uh, 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 a starter, which is just flowering for food. And we make a uh, maintenance, ferment it for four days in the condition, and, and dry it very well. So, this starter, uh, 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 this uh, we tried, we tested it in, uh, uh, in, the, uh, 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 in the lab, and we realized that with this starter, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we could, uh, uh, we could reduce, reduce the, the, the starter term by, by 50% because uh, with the starter, uh, uh, I have almost uh, uh, four, four, four days, and the starter, so we started here, yeah. Uh, 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 you go your time, you reduce uh, the, uh, the uh, Yes, but, uh, uh, 50%. So, but the problem now for us was to transfer this to prison because uh, uh, we have that result. Now, the, the problem is setting up what the law I want to really to discuss with you is setting up the method, uh, 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 practical methodology, uh, uh, which we are not to a uh, person to really adopt. This, uh, uh, this relation. So we, uh, we just try to set our methodology in three steps. In three, three steps, first of us, first of all, we need to identify who, uh, 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 how, what will be the actor to which, to whom the, the animal should be transferred. Yeah, because if the actor is not well chosen, no well chosen, the, the, the animal uh, 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 might not be really accepted. How, how to be sure that they are going to accept it? So the uh, 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 the, the target after to uh, for for the simulation uh, 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 was an issue. Uh, now the procedure we, we decided to to, to, to disseminate in two time. First of all, to train what we, what we call uh, 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 the processing leaders, uh, and this to processing have to have to to, to, to disseminate the. Uh, uh, they the practice in their own. Because, because why? Why we wanted to, to, to use this? To do this because in the primary training, where we train the processing leaders, uh, this gives us, it gives us an opportunity to adjust the, uh, 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 in field conditions, some uh, 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 so, 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 And uh, uh, so, uh, 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 Okay, so uh, uh, the first step, identifying the, the identification of the target actor, we uh, 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 we use the 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 prison organization themselves. We we try to find from our among the corporate prison cooperatives, which exist in Cameroon and uh, and in Kassala producing areas, and and uh, and we, uh, we choose this cooperative for, 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 for uh, based uh, out of this cooperative based. On, on, uh, on some criteria. First, uh, 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 first the corporate uh, we take into account the number of members of the co of, uh, of the cooperative, the, the, the regional implementation of the of the cooperative, and the organization of the structural organization of the cooperative, and the the market uh, uh, the dynamic market context. The, uh, uh, we choose the corporate on this basis and the uh, other. Uh, what to get the application in regional Central Africa uh, 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 initiative. So from this, we have indication. Of, uh, 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 we consider that this will uh, 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 give us indicators for uh, uh, for appropriation and diffusion uh, 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 success. So the better part of it in in, in the planning session in each cooperative. We were choosing 25 to 30 people for, for first training, for, for primary training. 
and and in this primary training, in the independent, I will say, we just, the main thing for us was to, to, not to, to, to discuss with them and, and try to transfer to them the way, the way we, uh, uh, the procedure we use to, to have a stable, to, to produce a stable standard. Because the police put the product and insist on the fact that the procedure is their procedure. But we just we are just to that, that the, the number of the, the condition of, of preparing the of the in which the strategy is prepared is very important. And uh, that's the only thing we have got to, uh, to teach them. And, uh, 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 and, and then we use the uh, uh, with them the starter in their condition. And what we what have you got? Uh, uh, but in, 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 the, in the secondary training, they are the ones who do what they have done with in their the, in the respective groups, in their village, the, the, and so on and so on. And our role in this day was just to try to follow up what they were doing and even uh, uh, maybe to adjust so, 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 so much as when necessary. So, what are the results? Really, in the lab, in the lab, uh, 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 in the use of the optimized data, in the lab, we use agitation. I like the word because when we go to the web, because I like the word, we define that the, the data will be used at the proportion of 1%. But when we use the data, we take the data, but in the present level, the fact is that they don't have agitator. They are working with kilogram. Uh, a kilogram to bring it from uh, of cassava. So we have to set up with them how to be to to, uh, uh, to to use the starter. Discuss with them. We reach out to uh, a population saying the starter is the problem. I we 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 so, uh, uh, what, what decided with them, we tested them in the works, is first of all, dusting at the, at the, at the ratio of 1%, dusting the, the powder with, with pill and wash cassava. And before adding water. Maybe, uh, maybe because we, uh, they are mixing behind, we add a 5 or 5 or 5 program with 1% uh, 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 stack of flour. They mix it well and then they add water. Why? Because since they don't have agitator, if they uh, 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 if they do have a use to do that, that is put uh, uh, putting uh, uh, putting the, the, the cassava root in the tank, putting water and then adding the the uh, the, the starter, it's starter it's just starter is uh, is starch. They have just to uh, degas. They have to degas and you have a, uh, and you have a, a fermentation gradient uh, 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 in the time, so the, the fermentation could not be uh, uh, homogeneous. But uh, 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 making this way, using this way, the fermentation it would be for adding water. The fermentation is automatically uh, 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 homogeneous in, in the world time since since the opportunity for for the start to the, to, to, to to become is reduced. And, 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 and with that, we realize that this is, these are peasant results with the particularly in the, in the primary training because we did the prepare cassava with a starter. We just started the starter to prepare, but we don't have the same time the prepare starter in their condition and with the optimal starter we prepare with them. And, and, and almost the the, the, the optimal starter, the, the rating time reduced by, by 50 to by almost by 50 percent, which corresponds correspond almost exactly to what we obtained at that level. And, 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 and this uh, and, 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 and this is see this was done by this this is something interesting for them. We tried to find it on the to check on the culture of the food. But the, on the culture of the food, we realized that the culture of the end food. But the fact is that peasants are considering that they, uh, they, uh, they, 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 from their for their, for, for their, for their personal point of view, they think that the use of starter out of uh, 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 accelerating the regulating 
a good opportunity of food. We just should know. Whatever the whatever the the uh, concern the this organic protected properties of food, what of, of the end food we we are which is uh shibuanga and also or uh, or uh, uh, fufu uh, whatever the the uh, the, the the starter with with or without starter the quality the same thing is the quality of food is based on their know-how not on the starter but they are considering that it is due to the starter you can get them to go that for the day now from the social impact of, 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 of innovation, the, 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 uh, the main thing is that the, the, the delivery time to the, uh, of the product to the market has been reduced by the because, because previously, when the, the, because they had a, a dynamic market, a, 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 a market on, 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 they, they take home and market and build and prepare products. Usually, they have to take to take home and Four, five days before, now they do what they have to comment of, of, of Pabolo, of Xiwan, two days later, they can deliver. This is something interesting. And, and, and the, this, the problem is the base on the initial, which is not giving their ability to collect the, 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 the response. Uh, the, 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 the volume of what they are selling as I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I and the, the distribution at least, the distribution of the other at least, we reached 6,000. One minute. You have uh, almost 6,000 6, women. The fact is that, at the conclusion, the main thing, the main thing that is our appreciation, what I want to hope to, uh, to, to raise up, is that here we, we have we, we set up the, the, the innovation lab, the but on the 6,000 person, uh, 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 train. We train only. We train by ourselves only 170. But this 170 train that they sell more than 5,000 other processors. And 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 and, and, and the, what what have to 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 to, to, to it insist on is is this aspect is that really the work is really done by actor themselves. In, uh, 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 in the procedure of information exchange. I uh, also uh, still exchange. Because the researcher is not here as someone having knowledge, but he's just, uh, uh, he, uh, he just contributing, uh, contributing to something. And, and the, the processors feel that way. That, uh, 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 and, 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 and this is the main important, the important Aspect of this dissemination procedure of project. Yeah. Thanks for your question. We have some products to get from the different from the select from the That's how I implemented product. She went to our own product at home. Our food, our food. Thank you so much. Shall we clap for him again? Very interesting presentation. Sorry, I have to rush a bit because of the time. I hope you understand. So we'll go straight on to our next presentation, which is Processing Technologies for Traditional Dry Meat Products in Africa by Dr. Mel from Kenya. Shall we clap for her as she comes? So, good morning. Um, I want to be, my topic is going to be on the Processing Technologies for Traditional Dry Meat Products in Africa. So basically, I did a paper on no, no, basically giving knowledge of the traditional uh, processing technologies of different countries in Africa. Uh, I'm Eunice Mel from the University of Edinburgh in Kenya. So, um, Africa has a very rich um, tradition in, in dried meat products, which, and, the, and their processes are not well known. So, it is very important in order to upscale some of these products. You, you really need to know what are the processes that are involved during the processing of, of these products. And um, so many, many traditional uh, foods of animal origin are still consumed and they are, they are, they are very um, widely consumed in many regions. Yeah? North Africa, Central Africa, uh, East Africa, South Africa. Um, and this is just a picture of, of, of one of the products of Nigeria. And uh, the product is called Kilishi, which I think I'll talk about later. So uh, these products basically play a very important role in the food security. We've heard a lot about food security in Africa, 
uh, and in, uh, in these regions, and specifically because of, the, of these traditional products processed by women. So, um, when I did uh, the, the, the review paper, I, I, I noticed that the, the main problems that we have in terms of meat, dried meat products processing, the pro problems that we have is the lack of knowledge of sequence of beauty unit operations, like I talked about, and this is what we call indigenous knowledge. And we also uh, have the problem of uncontrolled processes. Yeah, we've heard of sun drying. Sun drying is basically where you leave your, you put your meat on the on, on the on the floor or some things. They even hang them on the drying lines. Yeah, the clothing lines for drying. So these processes are not controlled because of the we've we have we've heard of the many climatic uh, changes. Uh, there's also lack of appropriate equipment. Yeah, lack of appropriate equipment, and that is why basically there's sun drying. There's uh, smoking and many other drying processes. So there's no equipment that can basically improve the quality of this uh, drying product. Uh, so because of all these, there's a wide variation in product stability and quality. So um, the products are not very stable, yeah? And the quality of the product is low. So when you talk about quality, we talk about things like microbial quality, safety of the product. We talk about um, physical quality, what is the color of this product? Are they stable? What is the texture of this product? Yeah, some of these products are dried to very low moisture content, so at the end of it, you need to rehydrate. So these products need to be stable so that they can be upscaled or, or even be um, probably more acceptable and more marketable in the regional and international communities. So um, there's a very high demand for meat and it is constantly increasing. Meats and animal products. The demand of, of meat products is constantly increasing in the in the um, in the, the uh, sorry, in the uh, developing countries. Yeah. So the, the reason why there the, the is an increase in these meat products or animal products is because of urbanization. Yeah. So many people are moving from the rural to the urban uh, centers, and because of this, there is improvement of infrastructure. There's also high population growth, especially in the developing countries, and there's also a high in increase in income. Yeah? Nowadays, the, the, the African countries, there's a very high increase in income, and it is increasing even and, and it will continue to increase up to the year 2050. So all this has led to an increase in demand for animal products, yeah? especially meats. So um, this is basically a graph showing um, projected trends by FAO, by the developing trend in uh, consumption of uh, these animal products, how will it will continue to increase up to the year 2060. So in the developing countries, you can see the graph is really going very high compared to the developed countries, where the, the demand for meat is not increasing as such. I think because of probably health reasons, or many other reasons. Um, so this is basically uh, showing uh, what are the purposes of drying meat. Why do we need to dry meat? To increase the shelf life, uh, to improve product quality, like I say, and uh, someone talks about value addition, to reduce the burn, to improve uh, issues of packaging and transportation. And um, this traditional preservation meat technology done in Africa, uh, was mostly done by women, um, and entailed a number of processes. So it's not, you can have a dried product, but it has many other processes involved, like salting, uh, fermentation, curing, smoking, um, addition of spices, and many others. And this uh, process we call it the handle technology. So this, this uh, table basically shows you uh, the, 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 the treatment methods that can be done to these dry meat products. Yeah. Because um, in my paper, I gave a very um, uh, elaborate discussion of the meat, different meat products in, uh, in the African countries, but because of time, I'll just give a brief uh, overview. So uh, um, the basic technologies that are involved, there can be evaporation of water by drying, which reduces the water activity, there can be lactic acid fermentation. He was talking about fermentation. So
So this can be either spontaneous or uh, using a scatter culture. And uh, this one actually increases the acidity and therefore the product will stay for longer. And all these have been done traditionally. Yeah? And they did it without even knowing yeah, the, the scientific principles involved. But this, these are the things that have been done traditionally. The salting, curing, smoking, use of other preservatives, which inhibit growth of microorganisms, and is boiling and cooking. Some of these dried meat products, they are cooked prior to, to drying. So boiling, cooking, and roasting. And this one, uh, the product does not stay for a long time. Yeah? The product basically has a shorter shelf. Um, so I looked, I, I, I looked at one uh, process technology from, this is uh, from Morocco. The, the products, uh, just one product that give a list of the, of, of the multi-step -step processes that are involved. So this uh, product is called Clean. And uh, you basically start from um, uh, the, the, the meat itself, which needs to be of good quality. Yeah? So beef, lamb, goat, or camel meat can be used. And this is a North African product. And um, basically, it used to be uh, produced. Yeah? They, used, they used it as a cultural, they, they used to uh, dry the meat or, or uh, slaughter animals during cultural uh, active processes or uh, religious activities, yeah? So or, or every family basically slaughtered one lamb and uh, because the product, the meat uh, was in excess, it, needs, it needed to be preserved. So this was done traditionally. So there's a process of trimming, there's a process of cutting, and uh, from research, uh, the quality of meat is basically mostly contaminated during trimming. For processing or cutting of the meat for drying, that is when contamination of the meat usually happens a lot. So there's a process of trimming which was done manually, then the cutting, then uh, cutting into slices, marinating using salt, vinegar, and other spices, and uh, then the cured meat strips are sun dried. So you can see how long the processes sometimes are by hanging the meat strips in a laundry rope. Yeah, so you can you can imagine hanging meat strips in a laundry room. Uh, I tried with this with um, uh, when I went to uh, pastoral communities in Kenya. Yeah, how they do it? They also hang their meat in a laundry room, and you can imagine the birds that that might come. In. They will have to be like a watchman to check on the meat. Uh, the insects that come over, some of them even fall on the ground. Yeah, the processes is really unhygienic. Yeah. And uh, after that, the, the, the uh, cooking, there's also the cooking process, and then uh, conditioning, where the meat is stored in oil to increase the shelf life of the meat. So um, uh, the, the typical clean is when the meat was, after drying uh, and cooking, the meat is uh, stored in liquid fat. And, uh, for this, nowadays, because of the health issues, there is one that is called the diet key, where now instead of dipping it or in, or in uh, fat, it is now dipped in olive oil. Yeah. So this is just one, and uh, this picture just shows you how uh, the hanging of the meat is done in the laundry ropes yeah, in some some com in many communities. Yeah. Either they they, they dry and dry on the ground or dry on laundry ropes after spicing. So uh, the other traditional uh, common traditional meat product is from South Africa and this is a uh, biltong. And this you can see this one is now an advanced technology yeah, where they now have mod modified dryers. So biltong uh, is ready to eat meat product and it's not as dry, it's not it's not dried to uh, it's not, uh, it's more than uh, intermediate dried product, yeah? So it, the moisture content is not really good. Um, the meat strips are basically cured, spiced, and hung on hooks. And instead of drying in the sun, uh, built is dried in shady areas, areas under the shade, so that 
uh, the, the meat does not become very dry because it's ready to eat, it's eaten as a snack. Yeah. So it does not need to be pre-cooked before uh, eating. So nowadays, uh, this product is, uh, can be done at the household level using a small box equipped with a pan and lights. So I, I cannot go without talking about uh, Kenya. So um, I, I also decided to talk about Nirnir, which I've also worked on, uh, with, with some pastoral communities in Kenya, where it's, uh, it's processed. So Nirnir is a man, sold among the Somali community in, in northern Kenya. So uh, this community is basically a pastoral community. And this is basically where the meat is most of the cons meat consumed in Kenya is found from these particular areas. So um, it's prepared from camel meat and the strips are sun dried, like I said, on laundry lines, and then cut into small pieces, added uh, spices, and then fried in oil, and then again stored in the oil. Um, and this meat can also be stored in uh, camel. Uh, this camel skin can be used as a packaging material or can be used to make uh, special um, storage materials where they, they dip in the oil. So this product has started being market in the urban areas where there is a high community, a population of uh, Somali communities. So uh, in, in Nairobi, there is a, there's a, uh, a town uh, as an estate called Isili. This is where most of the Somali community is found and uh, uh, the product has started to be marketed in that area. The problem that is there is that it's an, an informal, it has an informal marketing channel. Uh, so the marketing is not very formal because and there's also the challenge of packaging, handling, yeah, handling during cutting of the strips, handling during packaging, handling during processing. And uh, the product is unstandardized. So it cannot be marketed um, uh, locally and regionally, and uh, there is an optimal quality of the process. So um, my paper has many a list, a list of many other uh, products from other regions, which I, uh, I think you can look at later. So uh, I just want to talk about some of the issues that uh, can be found um, affect the meat quality in brief. So uh, the spices can also can be a source of contamination. Again, in terms of upscaling, someone was asking, how do you upscale to the communities? Yeah. So we've done a little bit of training. This one was in Sierra County, uh, where we train women on basically producing good quality dried meat products. Yeah. It's in terms of hygiene and quality of the products. So. We use the solar tire dryer using the camel meat to make it here. So um, I think that was my last slide. I forgot to contribute, but thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Prof. And thank you, Dr. Mira. Um, our next presenter is Miss Kambani Banda from Malawi, and she's talking about soy kids, a promising climate smart and economically viable technology for the production of soy milk in Malawi. Thank you very much. My name is Charlie Devamukbanda, and I'm a <coughs> specialist. I work for Baradia. Under the project in the future of Malawi, I've been at the diversification assistance in short and deep. Uh, I'm going to present on soy kits, a promising brand and smart and economically viable technology for soy milk processing in Malawi. The overview I'm going to uh, present on the problem in our country in terms of low income and poor nutrition. I'm going to say a brief overview of me fit the future Malawi as a education activity. I'm going also to say something on why choosing soy processing. And I'm also going to mention the technology that we use uh, for processing soy, uh, soy cow and soy kids. 
I was also going to mention how these technologies are coming smart approach in Malawi and the level of procurement societies, the youth wealth privatization of Okara, empowerment of women, data collection and results, and then the conclusion and the next step. The problem, uh, in my country there is a problem, a lot of problems, but <laughs> But on this one, uh, the entire number rates and the GDP now is by capital is only 338 US dollars. And the limited of the limited of for women society, especially for women. And the uh, 37% of children are standing. We also have poor dietary diversity in my country. You can see that figure, most of the food that is being consumed in uh, the highest percentage are staple foods compared to uh, protein and uh, some, uh, compared to animal foods and also buses. So you can see the very, very small percentage of buses and also uh, meat uh, components is very, very low compared to the And there's also issues of deforestation in my country. So uh, there's also issues of water pollution and the uh, soil pollution as well. Now, uh, the big problem we on the Feed the Future Malawi uh, in short update is a 5 year uh, project which started in uh, 2016. It ends it has got four uh, ends or goals that they want to achieve by the end of the project. So it ends to reduce poverty and the, uh, also starting. But they have got four thematic areas that they are working in. We are uh, increasing productivity through um, the three branches, or in fresh sweet potatoes, soy, soybeans, and also groundnuts. And for the for us to increase the productivity, we are using the uh, natural fertilizer known as the inodorant to improve or to increase the production of the uh, soybeans and the groundnuts. There is also an open point of uh, resilience. This resilience, they are, they, it is responsible for uh, improving the crops or making, providing the crops that are smart, that are climate smart. Um, and also, for example, any fresh sweet potato that can be grown in, the, in the marginal areas. We are also providing the giant bamboos which will be used to, uh, to prepare uh, to, to build the houses, to prepare the charcoal, and the, this can also help to reduce the uh, deforestation. Because instead of cutting down trees, people will be using the giant bamboos, and it also helps to reduce soil erosion. Uh, and I, and I, uh, improved nutrition component, I will explain because I'm um, one of the uh, team that are involved in the nutrition. And now in the environment, uh, women are being empowered, empowered in different ways. They are being uh, empowered in terms of uh, having different trainings, including girls, like gender action and training system. So that picture uh, shows one of the ladies. We are also promoting better bagger gardens under nutrition. And those bagger gardens we use uh, the mini drip kits. These are small drip kits that we give to the ladies or so the women in the community to help them have uh, vegetables close to their homes. So they are using the mini drip kits where they just have to have the package and the, the kids are being provided to them. So that is also uh, saving time in technology because instead of the woman you know, being in the bucket garden watering the vegetables, what you would be needed is just to put the water and the woman will be doing other activities. One soil processing. Why do we choose soil? As I mentioned earlier on that we are promoting soil beans and also oil infected potato and granules. So soil milk, uh, we chose soy beans because it is very nutritious. It has protein, nutritious sources of protein. It is locally available in my country, it is locally grown by everyone. It is, uh, it is a milk that will also come from the plant-based protein and the everyone can access it, including the vegetarians. It doesn't require fertilizer. Um, and if it is the soil milk, if you can't soil milk in the shops, it is either expensive because it is being imported from different countries. So it's very expensive. Uh, 
sometimes you can find the local communities or some uh, through where especially the local communities because they were using the local uh, pestle and the mortar to pound the, the soybeans to make the milk before the introduction of the soybeans. So the mortar and the pestle were also used or also made from the trees. So you know the issue of differentiation was also there. So this is uh, one of the technologies that we are also promoting, the soil, the soil cow. We call it soil cow because it's huge and it produces milk through soil, milk through soil, and it uh, brings out, it produces 20 liters of milk per batch, but it can make up to 100 liters a day. So it, it is also very good to know, it should also be made happy to know that we learned this technology from Ghana, I used the gun in 2017 and it was really nice to work here. We learned that you can also process uh, soy milk from soybeans using these technologies. In Kamare and in Kumasi have been there. So it was nice. Uh, so that's a huge uh, machine. It is not uh, given to the cooperatives. We have got five cooperatives which are given to which we which are given these technologies. One is a women cooperative. Another one is an institution of higher learning, uh, university, which they, apart from uh, just producing milk, you know, they also use the machine to train the young entrepreneurs, the students at the school, to, in, uh, to empower them to make, be uh, the next in, entrepreneurs in future. So they interdisciplinary for several purposes at that institution. Um, the, this is a uh, it requires to produce more milk for the cooperative to have like better profits because it is built, it belongs to the cooperative, not to a single person. So, on soybeans. Soybeans basically is an um, assembly of different utensils, more especially the kitchen utensils, which will enable someone to produce uh, soy milk. But the main uh, thing there is the grinder and also the wonder bag. You see what, what is the wonder bag? You see it's used. But that's the soil kit. When you, soil, when you mean the soil kit, we mean that all that components that comes up with the, that box. So this soil kit is, has been given to different women in the rural communities to produce soil for nutrition and also for income. So this soil milk, I mean, so we take it. At first, we were uh, just piloting. We provided like 30 kits on search, and we saw that it was really uh, healthy, and we had different testimonies from the women that got these soy kits. Then the project decided to increase the soy kits to 200. Now we have 200 and something soy kits that has been given to the women in the global communities that are processing soy for income and also for nutrition. And for these soybeans, some of the soybeans will also give to a certain clinic. Uh, they are making, uh, they are producing milk to give to the maternity, I mean the pregnant women that are expecting to deliver. So it is also helping there. So the great of our group soy milk is being made by sorting out the beans. When the beans are in search, we weigh the beans because we are in soybeans. One batch uses only 600 grams of soybeans. So after weighing, we soak the little beans into water, and after soaking, we drain the little beans. Then we start grinding into the grind and crushing the soybeans, the soaked soybeans. So we soak, we soak the beans for two little to make it soft and also to remove the calcium inhibitors that are the anti-nutritional components that are in the soybeans. And after that, after grinding, we cook the soybeans. After cooking, we put the, the whole pot from the, we take the whole from the fire and put it in the water bag. So, what is the most important there is the water bag, because it is a heat injection bag. We, the women are only using a very little fire, and they are also using the end of the serving stones, which requires only a very, very little fire for them to cook the milk. So the rest of the time is being done, the milk is being uh, put in the water bag. You will see the water bag. For the, then there is the, after the water bag, we inject meat from the water bag for about 20 minutes, we put the meat 
know. And that's something that I think you can be uh, say that, or maybe some people who just like saying like that, there's no problem. As long as uh, they do the interview and that I will give them the story, it's not the preference of their customers. And after that, the the remaining of the Bible that is after the soldier in the milk, we call it Ogara. I don't know where that way it came from, but we picked it from Ghana as well. So the Ogara, the remains of the Swedes, I mean the after the soldier in the soil milk. This Ogara is not also wasted. It is being used in different uh, cooking products. We use the Ogara for cooking porridges, cakes, bread, and Oh, and also uh, animal feet. So, um, how is the soil is being a green technology? It does not require electricity because it is manual and converted. The waste is being retained because the waste has also been processed into other products. The pipe of the pipe that the other which are used for animal feeds and uh, also politics as I mentioned earlier on. So that is the one about it. That one about it, the heat rejection bag, it uh, preserves heat, it finishes the cooking process of the soil milk from the fire. So that bag has only the place of home inside and that is also a place outside and it's easy to make. And uh, it helps to reduce our pollution because you don't need fire to use the water pack. It is also uh, it also reduces time for the women instead of the woman cook the meal for a long time and fetch having a lot of time going to fetch for the fire or a lot of fire, we just have the funeral and the meal will be done. So it is also labor uh, collective food and we also reduce labor intensity. And we know that some of the snacks that can be made through uh, the Ogara, though it is known as Cheola in our language, but it is simply a snack which is mixed with different spices and maybe eggs and also some flour and fried in cheap oil. So we are also promoting this. So uh, the previous uh, when we were just starting this project, we uh, importing this thing, uh, so it is. We were putting at uh, $20 and we saw that it is very uh, useful and it is viable in our communities and we thought of locally uh, sourcing out the uh, equipment so that everyone who wants the equipment can find it in the community or in the country. So we tried to reduce the cost because if it's not locally, the, the cost is $80, not $200. So, we are also working, it is also not involved in the women because the women are able to contribute to nutritious foods. They are making decisions because they have been empowered, they are still in public, they have been trained in food safety, they have been trained in handling of the food, you know, it is difficult to handle. It's not easy, it can easily be contaminated. So it has been given several series of trainings and they are able to uh, process or be invited in agriculture fair, they process the milk right there at sale like that woman there. That is also one of the ladies who has been given the, uh, that, that uh, bicycle is going to sell the product. So we are also empowering women through the use of the service and also the business. So the start, the start of some of the class that we collected, we know, I told you we collect uh, data from the soil grounds and also the soil so those are some of the profits of the soil grounds and some of the uh, soil kits, production of milk, those are the average soil milk production in liters. You find that in some areas or some months it is lower to those who make milk in uh, harvesting, so the harvesting period is also affecting some of the business. And those are some of the profits, in some of the months they are higher, some of the months are lower depending on which season. The cold season also affects some business of the uh, soil milk. So in conclusion, the both the soil leaves and the soil, uh, soil cows are kind of smart. And soil leaves are generally viable for the most intervenions. Soil cows can be generally viable, but 
should be a producer to larger scale as an engagement is given to the cooperatives. So for the next step, uh, our the active project is scaling up to 2,000 additional credits in, in, for this coming year, October to September 2020. So we are scaling up to 2,000 credits to the uh, women in the communities. We are also encouraging successful entrepreneurs, so that all those entrepreneurs that have excelled well and they have given greater profits, they will be, they will be involved, they will be mentors, they will be mentors in these 2,000 soils entrepreneurs that are coming. So that's one way also involved in the because of the training, the people that are training and giving out all the such information and testimonies to them as an encouragement. We also have uh, we also conduct an evaluation on in, uh, in nutrition on and how the soil and soil is how the environment impacted in the communities. Uh, for now, let me say thank you very much for your listening. Thank you very much, Ms. Gawan and for that very interesting presentation. And now we are coming back home. So we have Dr. Francis Kusi presenting, and that's the last presentation, um, Integrated Management of Sprouts in a Good Traditional Storage Structure to Extend the Shelf Life of Young Children. Right. Thank you very much, sir. I present on the Integrated Management of Sprouts in a Good Traditional Storage Structure to Extend the Shelf Life of Young Young uh, production and mostly marketing is dominated, uh, dominated by women. When we travel all the way from Moku down to Mansi, all the trees that we start to buy up is mainly hot, being sold by women. We engage it, engage it and then we release it in gradual I mean, quantities over the years to sell. Then we have serial growing the top, shared life. And we design this experiment to evaluate what they do and see what we can do to improve the shared life of the year. To meet the way of the team. And then uh, as a way of introduction, if you look through the domain of young production and marketing, you will see commonly uh, among them is short shared life of the year. That has been a single problem our families have been facing over the years. And uh, some of the causes of shelf life, uh, as can be seen on the screen, has to do with pure, uh, poor and curing process, the first thing when they take the young to before they take it to uh, the storage. Injuries and uh, injuries of tubers, down to storage, or even a storage can also lead to uh, loss that should be the shelf life. Poor and uh, constructed storage structures. And the sprouting in the during the sprouting of the two beds during the storage period is a major cause of uh, shelf uh, shelf cell life of young. And most of this we also predispose the two beds to rodents, cottonies, and many back uh, and we also wait for that to reduce the quality of this. So talk about the the nature of the sprout in storage. It's all shown in the So and they, this is what you, you typically see when you, you put the, the young in the, in the soil, they start sprouting. And the sprout, the growing, I mean this is mind. The, the two grades of work is nutritional uh, quality, so making it fabulous, and then they are not good attracting the market. Then, typically, you go to all the farming communities, this is how the farmers store their lands, most of their farms. They construct 100% cash structure and protect the structure with the sticks, which they use for staking. And this protection is just enough to walk away uh, ruminants. And uh, that can go and pull uh, and push it down to enter. So we need to protect, but it's not enough to protect the young in there against rodents and other issues that can work. 
Yeah, then we will do this. So this guy is what we and uh, as a baseline, this is what we find. And then the doctor came in with the technology to see how we can help uh, the farmers. So the tumors in in, in sprouting, uh, I mean tumors in, in soil, leads to what? The young becoming fat growth, leading to reduce in its quality for food, like, as I mentioned. So this compares most of the farmers and aggregators, especially, to people who uh, dispose of the lab. The young to press once the young start was sprouting. But now at this point, if we're talking about two to three layers of stories, at this point, the young have appreciated the surprise as compared to the time of harvesting. But if you're able to keep it a little more uh, longer within the lean period, you can uh, account it very high values. So the intervention for the project is what? Managing the sprouts. Uh, the spider is out to this. And I include the additional storage structure to keep the tubers longer in, the, in, in storage while preserving the food quality of the, of the tubers. And specifically, we uh, look at managing the spout young tubers to induce permanent dormancy. After harvesting, the young is in the cell of the dormancy, but then it's broken. But then we, we, we put in a system where we can help induce permanent dormancy to avoid uh, continuous sprouting. Also prevent secondary infestation and also improve the structure we, as I showed in the picture. So uh, uh, as a way the material that we we use in managing the, the sprouts, we, what we usually we do is that constantly we go in to regularly remove the sprouts immediately they, they appear on the tubers. And as you the way it is, when you move, the other one will come. They are going to move. As we move first, second, third, we see that we will eventually we get this, the young stop sprouting. Then it enters into another state of what? Dormancy. And by that process, you will you eliminate that problem of the, 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 the sprouting. Then, having done that, as you, you remove it, it's in a, a soil condition with a very good conducive atmosphere for pathogens to strike other things. As we move the sprouts, you have exposed a surface which give access to the pathogens to infect the tubers. So we also treat it with all wood ash, which is a common product in every household in the rural communities, to I mean, prevent secondary infection. We, have, we, 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 we use wood ash just because of all the consciousness of, uh, of, of, of people now to work in sex, in sex application to food that goes directly into a, uh, I mean, into a table. And again, we, the, the wood ash was used to serve two purposes. Besides the, uh, preventing pathogen infestation, it also formed as a cement, a hard coat that also steals the exposed basin. So that you don't have any infection, and then the young also don't, that don't lose excess, uh, uh, I mean, moisture. As a, as a result of high temperatures that during the period. Then the storage structures that was also improved when we used three abilities in, to improve it. Like you saw in the, the complete tax, the, in, the condition in there is very conducive for young storage. But this problem has to do with what? Rodents are to go in there to this. So we fence it with the uh, We took advantage of the fact that. The owner is not able to grasp the smooth surface of this to enter there. And again, the owners are able to work, borrow with, in, in the soil. So we also find it about one feet deep. So I made a very big hit. And that was enough work to completely eliminate rodents from entering the traditional touch the farmers were using. So in that case, we eliminated the effect of rodents completely from that structure. Then again, we also realize that the farmers we also build a short wall of about 70 centimeters high, plaster the outer, this is moving with, uh, with cement. Again, also with, uh, presenting the surface that also made it difficult for the rodents to also climb in there. Simple technology within their range, we use the resources to the community and we're able to improve the drill that. We also saw that they use uh, mud structure. 
in also storage and show pictures of all these things. The same way we use the processes the, you know, to, I mean, protect the base to prevent, because the mask that you have windows and doors, the owners are able to use the wrong surfaces to climb and enter through the hatch and then going in to cause damage to the tubers. So we did this in, uh, in combination of the two, I mean, uh, intervention, medicine and now. And uh, as a way of the results, we were able to uh, from the results and discussion, farmers typically have it their products at different stages with different purposes. Those who go in with any mature variety like Labrico and Bona will harvest six, uh, less than uh, six months, five to six months after planting and then catch early marketing. Some also will go and do what they call uh, uh, milking or break out to remove the early bulb tubes and uh, tubes. So they leave the plant in there for it to produce sap. Uh, smaller sets, which they use as planting material during the main season. So the harvesting is done at various times for various reasons. But you know, between November and January, that is where you have bulk of the yam being harvested. And the price for grass carry that farmers don't get much. So therefore, there's a need for them to work, to store. But then, because of this planting growing around they are able to store longer and so they are forced to sell. But with this intervention, they could now extend their, I mean, the shell that they have from the match at where they usually would have sold it to somewhere June, and uh, in the beginning of the season. And by that, I will show you how much they gain to the stand again. So, like, as uh, I was explaining, as we continue sprouting, we will gradually induce the a dormancy in the tubers, as we can see in these pictures. And then the pathogen infection, uh, in, in infections of the open wounds will also be all prevented as we treat the exposed surfaces with the, the wood ash. And the quality of the tubers was further boosted with a combination of all these three approaches as, as, as I've described. And typically, this is what you'll find. This is yeah, that was, uh, was stored after harvesting up to July. And, and in, in between November and November and December, you can get 100 tubers of this uh, this part of the yeah, yard for 150 to 200 uh, galaxies as farm gate price. But if we are able to keep this in up to do with this quality, we're talking about thousand cities or 150 cities. That is Again, I have a, at farm grain price. If you come to uh, a, a market in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the cities, you can imagine the profit you have there. I mean, the profit you have that the farmers have to get. So this is what the good example that to achieve. And so the fact the a woman who sell out around the uh, the road and the market centers only need what in uh, construction like this protect it against rodents. Go in a way to remove the scrap, treat the exposed surface with a, a common wood ash, and then able to work, extend the shelf life, and catch in, I mean, I mean, uh, going to attract such huge for profit margin as uh, uh, to uh, improve their livelihood. I'm So, as a way of showing you the interventions as I was describing, this is what uh, we, we did simple technology. They are constructing uh, with this around it. And with this, we omitted this. And then constructing that short wall, which is smoothly plastered with cement, and also prevented the, uh, the wood from getting inside. And then that traditionally is how it is. But the wood are able to use the rough surfaces to get in here to go and cause damage. Then we also prevented them by using this. And the internet was not used. Typically, when you go to North, even some of the houses, they use they, they use one window and very small one, even where uh, uh, 
We want to get a And the same place was a bride here. But here we created more ventilation as a way of ensuring that ventilation in there. Because with these structures, what we also found out there was a high infestation of really bugs. That also caused damage, damage, and indirect damage to the young tubers. So we not even know we put all these technologies, we protected the young tubers in, 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 in this story, and then inception virus uh, extended, and the quality of food was also maintained. In conclusion, the, the, the removal of the spouse, the treatment of the exposed surfaces, in good tradition, extended the shelf life of young from 6 to 8, eight months. And now this intervention on its own was enough to achieve this. Hence, you need to integrate the approach. And all the materials are within the range, as I mentioned, that the farmers can easily or the traders can easily work get to lead their communities, none is falling to them. And the use of the wood ash is also environmentally friendly, material that does not leave any harmful residue in the, the tubers. And of course, we don't have to have uh, applicators and uh, uh, economic, and it's also economic use of all. A waste product that is found in every household in the community. And on that note, we grateful to WAP. One day, this technology was developed under WAP during the first phase, and uh, many of the CSR are and also the FAO and CSR who also made the opportunity to come and share this conference with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We had a very good presentation from all our four presenters. And before we open the floor for questions and for discussions, we just have a quick summary of um, the presentations we've had this afternoon. So the first presenter, Professor Jamie Kui from Cameroon, he told us about how they have developed a peasant startup for cassava writing, made of pre-rated cassava flour to accelerate the fermentation of the cassava roots and how they have disseminated this information through 160 processes, 170 trained processes who have in turn trained 6,000 other processes. And he, he started with an introduction telling us about the importance of cassava, which we all hope know. He went, took us through the writing process, the fermentation process, normally it takes between three to five days, and how it was reduced by the starter culture we have produced. He gave us the proper statement, the hypothesis, and also the results as to how they disseminated information to these processes. So that's a, 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 a small summary of what he presented to us. Then we had a second speaker, Madam Dr. Mewa from Kenya, who gave us um, the processing technologies for traditional dry meat products in Africa. Um, she told us of the importance of meat, which is growing in Africa, and told us of, about the problems that we're trying to tackle, such as the lack of indigenous knowledge, the wide variability of the quality, the products not acceptable in the regional and international markets. And then she took us through the processing of the, of the meat to include packaging and also its presentation. She gave us the basic brand technologies in Africa and talked to us about three different meat processing technologies which have been applied in Morocco, in South Africa, and also in Kenya. And took us through the processing of Kili in uh, Morocco and also Biltong in South Africa and in Nyeriri in, in, in Kenya. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it properly. And then she gave us all the challenges that had been, um, had been looked at, and such as the meat product quality and safety, and also the fact that we produced mathematical modeling to help in the, um, solving some of these challenges. So these are, in summary, these are the two, the summary I gave for the two, first two presentations 
that we've had out. Hand over to Dr. Rafika to also summarize the two other presentations we've had. Thank you. Okay, so um, we continued with the soy cakes from Malawi, where um, Miss Kambani Banda told us she started off by telling that they had problems in their country, but they are actually doing something very good about it. So they are using um, soy, which is readily available, highly accepted, and it's already being used in their country. But they are trying now to improve access to the milk that comes already from it. And, um, and so they are improving the nutritional status of their um, citizens, which is one of their key challenges. So they have both the soy case, which is at the smaller scale. So these are uh, provided to individuals. And it's, it uses simple, very simple technology to um, process sufficient milk that can be sold and to get an income or can be used in the housing level for the nutrition of the family. And then there's also the soy cow, which is um, a larger scale processing of the um, same soy milk. They, they are doing something very uh, interesting when it comes to climate uh, smart technology in that they use the water bath as part of the processing. So they have um, relied very little on firewood and uh, they also use energy efficient uh, stoves so that together that helps in reducing our challenges with um, climate change. I also particularly like the fact that they are um, engaged in complete utilization of the soy. So even the waste or the byproducts from the soy milk production is being used in uh, making other products. Then um, Dr. Pussy um, told us about how they are trying to use or they, they are trying to use integrated uh, management in improving the shelf life of yam. Basically, he took us through the um, different causes of the short shelf life. We know that yam has a very short shelf life, but he highlighted what were the causes, the main causes, so um, what curing damage of the um, tubeless prior to or in storage, and what the, the interventions that the have um, applied to try and minimize this um, short shelf life. So basically, he had improved the traditional uh, storage structures, the um, induced permanent dormancy in um, the yam, and then they used um, new ash to treat the surfaces of the yam. And these three simple techniques were sufficient to prolong the shelf life of the yam tubers for more than six months. And I think that's a, a very significant development. Um, so thank you for your attention, and then I think now we can have questions. Okay, so we have time for three questions. So from one to how many more? One. I'll get to one question. Don't mind. To my friend, Dr. Francis, who said, I want to ask you for your nice and practical Practical uh, uh, presentation. I have one question. You use, I like to do the, I to take into the, the, the uh, one thing you is slurry of uh, uh, wood ash. I think you take the one question, the type of wood and, and the ratio, the proportion of, uh, of slurry you use to, uh, for, for this man you have done. In this case, at the time, uh, uh, I suppose that. Uh, 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 you may treat uh, uh, the wound. Uh, 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 it may be impossible to think of treating the whole uh, production of yarn uh, uh, in, in this way, in this case. You may have some, some small problem is the uh, quantity of ash, the, the, the use of the quantity of wood. I'll join this discussion. Thanks, sir. Thank you for the word. Uh, I have a question. I have a contribution concerning the contribution of Dr. Francis. According to what Dr. Francis has said. Premièrement, I je demander à Francis quelle est la contribution optimum 
pour la conservation de l'Iam. What are the maximum conditions, optimum conditions for yam conservation? Maintenant, concernant la peau, c'est par rapport au système de conservation, les structures de conservation qui nous présentent. Alors, en tant que thermicien, je pense qu'il euh, doit avoir forcément un problème. Il est vraiment lié à, à un problème de, de renouvellement d'air. Parce que quand je regarde le système de renouvellement d'air, il n'est pas fait dans l'air. Quand je regarde le système de renouvellement d'air, il n'est pas fait dans l'air. Quand je regarde le système de renouvellement d'air, il n'est pas fait dans l'air. Quand je regarde le système de renouvellement d'air, parce que premièrement, la question du renouvellement d'air sera posée. Deuxièmement, il y aura aussi la question de l'humidité. Et enfin, la question de la température à l'intérieur des problèmes. Je pense que ce sont des raisons qui peuvent contribuer à ce qui est des solutions de la marche. Peut-être que le climat est différent de où je viens. Mais la alors, je suis disponible ici, ça les intéresserait à bien sûr pour qu'on puisse peut-être dans, dans, dans le futur proposer des solutions qui, en de collaboration, en fait qu'on puisse proposer des dispositifs qui aiment tout ça. Merci beaucoup. Because uh, we went on the project with Charlotte. Just about five years ago, he couldn't speak my point of English. <laughs> and now he's doing it with a friend of English. So, congratulations. <laughs> uh, my question is that uh, you, as Konzo, still a problem with some parts of Cameroon. Konzo, from Kassala side of my years. And then, secondly, uh, I'm interested in your, your starter culture for writing. The writing is to remove the sign and to break the structure of the cassava, is it? Do the writing. Yes. The cassava breaks the texture. It disintegrates. Uh, so what does the starter culture do? Is it adding some microorganisms which is causing producing the organisms to break down the cyanide or what? What does the starter culture contain? How does it work? The function? How? The starter culture. Is it introducing microorganisms or what? Which cause the breakdown of the sand? Okay, so I would like um, Dr. Francis to quickly. All right, thank you very much for the question. It's nice. Robert, well, we have a link taking position in the type of food. The relative advantage of the father in the human setting. Every household, there's not a single household that we don't have to do that. Because almost everybody will use a wood fuel oil in, in cooking. So it's a, a, an abundant waste to that. And we use the village to find a way to work, to take them out of the community. Right? So it's a environmentally friendly and safe and saving and certain. Yo. And then, uh, my, my, my friend from Bolivar, uh, right? From Bolivar. I'm very good. I'm also in Bolivar. Just a question. Have you tried different wood types to see if there's an influence on the treatment of the young? And it's true. And so that's, that also brings another the opportunity for us to look at the future. But then we just took advantage of the fact that we are not saving the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what about the lab? Let me use it. Now taking, uh, from your question, I think from your video, last question on the investigation, because that also informed about the optimal in the industrial uh, condition. I've been mentioning that traditionally is what the farmers will use without window, only just uh, one window. 
But when you do it or not, do it before windows. Make it so that there is, if you open one window, there is a window in the west. Is a window. And we do not want to address the problem of military infestation in the region. I get it. So we rather introduce a more efficient system to ease ventilation that will also uh, increase, I mean, fuel conducive and air conducive for the, uh, the yard. For instance, the, 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 the tax structure is the most perfect because like, it's moving and there's air flow from every, every direction. But this program has to do with the, the woodlands are needed to go in and also during the rainy season. If you keep it up to June and the rain starts, then rain gets in to, to, to destroy the trees. I will be out here in my hand. Thanks for that, Dr. Wilson. Dr. Wilson, thanks for the appreciation. Concerning council in Cameroon, yes, uh, in the full edition of Cameroon, uh, council is together. And, 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 and this is one of the reasons why, and, and in this region they produce a lot of uh, cassava, but the fact that the rating is very low there. So, so the, uh, 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 about the 6,000 6, people uh, are reduced by the uh, organization, almost, uh, almost 3,000, a little bit more than 3,000 is in that region. They are in touch with the region, more interesting for, for uh, what, more, more, more interesting for the uh, for the innovation. Concerning the, the uh, I think we asked whether the 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 the, 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 the related complex of uh, if we uh, if we bring it uh, into our, our program, that's it. In my mind, now every complex, every entire road, a field, that I think most of our program will be a uh, we will uh, 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 entire road and broken road have been tested and it works, no problem. But what does it contain? Is it microorganisms? Okay, yes. so the, 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 yes, no, the fact is that, the, yes, yes, you know, you might not dance on because. Which microdance? Uh, brother, no, I'm not going to go. So, recently, uh, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go. My colleagues, my colleagues, my colleagues, we are a team. My colleagues from Macrobiology are, are working on it, but the fact is that uh, in the structure, they are in the structure, the, the type that you can make up because. Uh, you are uh, uh, in our uh, 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 like, kind of main groups. Now to get into specific, uh, the, what, it's this, uh, 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 the technique we don't have. The, 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 the main groups of the of are in the are. And then the fact that they might differ, they might differ, might be different from one to another. Uh, 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 that, that but they are working on the characteristics of the specific. You know, in Ghana, we have a product the yes. And when the women are going to graze the cassava, anyway, they add a salad culture, they call it an inoculum. Yes. 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 And it introduces some type of microbial species, which produce cellular enzymes, which break down the texture mm -hmm. of the cassava, yeah. which is what leads to the eventually the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much for that. Let me send you to you guys. So um, we'll break now for lunch. Okay, but before you go to the restaurant for the lunch. Take a walk past the stands at the exhibition quickly. We have the 20 minutes for lunch and we are back. Yes.
Na kwa futi vida nsama na apa amunti Aya amunti ya su Futu nsama na yade abramu amunti Aya amunti ya su Agra kwa cha nsama na babu wa maya yina amunti Aya amunti ya su Futu nsama na fagra kwa cha unti munti Aya amunti ya su Yade abo, yade abo Agra kwa cha nsama na yade abo Yade abo, yade abo Yade abo